recovery, whether it's addiction recovery, recovery from any kind of trauma, it's a process. And we will guide and assist and provide resource and coach and love and teach and anything we can. And, and we have a very structured program to do this. There was this feeling inside me like it was such a good, it seemed like fit for me. I understood that the program was very strict and it had a lot of structure and I, that's what I needed. RAP stands for Rescue, Assess, and Place. It is the port of entry. So when somebody calls, uh, when a first responder brings somebody, whatever, everybody is first going to go through RAP. We want to meet their basic needs, help them develop a plan, do an honest appraisal of their situation, taste different solutions. We want to educate them on pathways, different programs that might provide assistance. I'm most ready to work on myself. The tools that we learn just to deal with daily, you know, with our daily lives without running to alcohol and drugs. I take it as a, a time to kind of just really focus on what your plans are in the future. Sometimes the first time they've, in their life they've ever had a plan for how they can actually gain victory over their life controlling problems, homelessness, addiction, recognizing no person is supposed to go through life alone. Just the fact that this is a free program, it gives people that are, don't have that kind of, don't have the income to go into a treatment center, this is a tremendous blessing. The very first referral into RAP was not substance abuse, it was domestic violence. And we helped a mother and three children get placed in a good domestic violence a safe house uh, so they can begin their process of recovery there. In the last 12 months we've had over 900 admissions into RAP. Now this is 900 people who were uh, possibly homeless, possibly coming out of jail. All of them were in some sort of crisis situation and facing some very big challenges. 685 people actually completed. That's a 76% completion rate. I've seen the difference that's made in my life and I can't imagine what's the difference that's going to be a year from now. Jesus said, John 10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you might have life and life more abundant, and that's our desire.